Hi everybody, my name is Joe and today I'm going to show you how to do suitless motion capture with Rococo Dual Vision and to import that into Unreal Engine and put it on a MetaHuman. So yeah, let's take a look. We can do something simple like this. Pretty cool, right? Rococo Vision is completely cloud-based, so there's no app, it's just the web page. So you just go to vision.rococo.com. I know that Rococo has stated that they don't want to officially support dual vision. It's kind of just more as a hobbyist thing. It kind of worked for me. My goal is to do short films in Unreal Engine. So this um, was a means for me to explore how to do that. And so that's the whole point of this video. Hopefully you get something out of it. Create your new animation and choose dual camera record. And you're gonna have to print out this checkerboard and calibration marker, this Chiruko boards. Um, I printed them out and put them on a little flat Apple box and then taped them so they don't bend because you don't want any bends in it. I'm using two A6400s um, that are using micro HDMI to go into the computer connected through a Camlink 4K. And those are really cool. Shout out Camlink for those. All right, now that your cameras are connected, you can also use camo. Um, some people like to use that. This is your calibration phase. So yeah, just use your Chiruko board and go through the calibrator. It's really easy. They make this part super easy. And now you're going to use the angled arrow direction side of the Chiruko board. And you're gonna wanna point that um, generally at your front camera. You want to make sure they're both on screen. And yeah, if they calibrate, the floor should line up pretty well. If it doesn't, go ahead and readjust them until they do. And now you're ready to record your mocap. Once you have your mocap recorded, you can go ahead and scrub through it in the vision editor. Make sure it plays all smooth. Go ahead and rename it because this will be the rename for your exported FBX or if it loads it into Rococo Studio. And here we go. This is our playback of our animation. Looks good, looks okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it in Rococo Studio now. All right, here we are in Rococo Studio. We've got our animation loaded up, so let's just play through it. Now we're gonna go ahead and export this. We're sending this to Unreal, so we're gonna select the Manny UE5 and export. Now that we're back in Unreal, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is import the third person content so that we can access the Manny skeleton and all the animations for that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and import our Rococo animation. You're going to want to uncheck Import Mesh and select the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin skeleton. All right, let's just drag this in and play our animation. So that is the motion that we just recorded on the mannequin skeleton. Now remember, this has no facial tracking. This has no finger tracking. Um, so all we have basically are the arms and legs moving. <laughs> all right, now for the next step where we want to retarget this animation, we're going to right click on the Rococo animation and select retarget animation. And then we're gonna select the metahuman skeleton for our boy Eric here. Make sure that auto generate retarget is on and select our animation and export animation. I'm just gonna call it anim test metahuman. Export this. Now let's um, put all of it together into a sequencer. So we'll add Eric here. Line him up a little bit. Let's delete these control rigs. And add our animation. 
Boom. All right, there we go. Let's line up this uh, sun a little bit. But all right, there we go. As you can see, it still moves with the um, arms and the legs, no hands. But yeah, that's everything. So thanks for following along. Um, let me know if this helped at all, if this is anything that's useful. I don't think I will be using Rococo Dual Vision for any sort of serious motion capture. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's a few parts of it that don't really fit my workflow, I guess. But I am excited to eventually get the motion capture suit, eventually. For now, developing and seeing more at-home solutions is what probably more videos will be about. So yeah, let me know what else you want to see. Thanks.